Uh, this is the tool that our political unit has cooked up using our NBC News poll data in history and currently to understand and visualize which way the political winds are blowing. In summary right now, you've got three, essentially three numbers here that all point into dangerous territory for the Democrats and the incumbent party. Presidential job rating at 40 percent, wrong track over 70 percent, and the Republicans leading in the generic ballot. Not a good time. Well, I, I agree with AOC in this respect, in that Democrats are in trouble, and that's what she said in that interview, uh, because the left is not liking that the White House is saying, no, we should fund the police. They, they have, uh, in their new budget this week, they're proposing increases, significant increases in defense spending. So the Democrats are divided. The left is not happy. That means they, they may not show up come November. The moderates are scared. They're going to lose uh, their elections in, in Congress. So this is a real problem. The enthusiasm gap between Republicans and Democrats is, is depending on the poll, it, almost all polls have double-digit leads for Republicans. Washington's biggest open secret right now is that seven months from the midterms, Democrats are poised to lose and lose miserably. But, but Democrats have, they're, they're not united and they don't have a lot to point to legislatively, even though they control everything. It's so bad that everyone, including Democratic strategists, whose job it is to literally craft a victorious narrative, are warning of combustion. A number of Democratic strategists spoke to The Hill, and one confided that the party is doomed. Quote, it's bad. You have an energy crisis that's paralyzing, and inflation is at a 40-year high, and we're heading into a recession. But the problem is simple. The American people have lost confidence in Joe Biden. He also added that, quote, everyone needs to come to terms with the reality that we're going to get slaughtered in November. That's a fact. It's indicative of the fact that people have lost confidence in his leadership. There's nothing they're going to be able to do. So what's happening here? And why is the DC a liberal elite just letting this happen? It's so frustrating to watch this narrative continue to tumble even though we have seven months until the election. Sure, we can blame Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema, but there are so many more people to blame. As Cenk put it on Twitter, only a loser cries if he doesn't have enough votes. The Biden administration is seriously lacking in political will and motivation, holding as they are to Big Pharma and other corporate entities. Prospect.org has a new bombshell report out that claims that Democrats are creating their own October surprise, signaling that they won't fight to make some of the improved Affordable Care Act subsidies that came with the American Rescue Plan permanent. These permanent measures were supposed to be a part of the Build Back Better bill, and now they're hanging in the balance, with, you guessed it, Joe Manchin now revealing a new plan, which notably does not include any of these health care subsidies or any other social program improvements. As the article says, this will doom 14 million people, the party's midterm chances, and health care reform for a decade. But the economy is doing okay, with jobs and wages increasing and low unemployment rates. So the Democrats do have some leverage, but sky-high gas prices and inflation are threatening Biden's entire legacy. Gallup senior editor Jeff Jones said that, quote, high gas prices are one of the biggest anchors of presidential approval. A recent Gallup poll says that one in five Americans feel that the high cost of living and fuel is the most important issue facing the nation, with the war in Ukraine only getting 9% of that vote. At least one strategist chose to take a more optimistic tone, stating that we beat COVID, we're beating Russia, and we're going to beat inflation. Uh, I'm not sure what timeline you are living in, but where we are now, none of those things have been beaten, and Biden's backseat approach to governing is doing nothing to make people actually believe any of those things are possible. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.